YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail. Man, I decided to ease that camera up a little bit. Just back it up to see what it, it looked like. I know usually my camera be like, like up close. But this is another weekend. Another sneakerhead weekend. Weekly 7 sneaker rotation, man. Uh, for those that's new to my channel, or they don't know yet or whatever, Monday is the first day of the week. Last day is the Sunday, so that's my seventh day, and I consider that the seventh day, obviously, and that'll be like a full week, and that's what I call a full-blown sneaker rotation. Now, one of the reasons why I actually record most of my sneaker rotations is because uh, not only do you guys get to see what I have or whatever, in case y'all are interested, because I ain't doing no collection video anytime soon, because that'll take too long, uh, but... <clears throat> Also, uh, you get to see how see my kicks, and uh, I get to wear more kicks that I haven't wore. Surprisingly, in case you didn't know, if you a person that have a lot of kicks, you might only just really wear them two to three times a year, which is pretty scary. But you, me, preferably, I rather wear my kicks more often. So I keep. Uh, sometimes I even watch some of my own sneaker rotations just to make sure that. <laughs> I'm rocking the kicks I need to be wearing and stuff, man, or it'd be certain kicks I haven't worn in a while and just make sure it's not too repetitive, man, because I don't want to wear one or two type of kicks too much or the same amount of kicks too much. So, first off. Monday. In the rocking these right here zoom in that's the strawberry Sacconi. some people call it Sacconi. this was like a limited release um, didn't sell out too quick but it it took like almost like the whole day to sell out so you know certain people if this was really your your kind of kick you know people picked up on it um, I've seen these dirty luckily I've still kept mine clean but they look terrible when the pink suede actually get dirty they also released another one right along on the same day with this this came out a few years ago though um this is probably like 120 and uh they had the mint chocolate one as well those those look okay but i like these the best of strawberry joints just want to get it up a little bit close there we go and uh they didn't come with these lace but i wanted them to come with these laces and i actually wore these on monday Monday, Monday, I end up rocking these joints, and uh, actually got a few compliments and stuff. Someone actually even pointed out, you know, though I like those shoes; they look like candy. And then on the inside, you got the cone with the ice cream. And me, I put my own laces in here because the laces they didn't give me rope yellow laces; they had pink yellow laces, flat pink uh, laces and they had yellow flat laces and some white flat laces but I just was like why didn't they just give us like a yellow rope the yellow rope lace would have actually set it off like how it's setting it off now and to me it makes the shoe look better man I like the color something completely different when you just want to go something completely left field and you want the kicks to just do all the talking then you got that sweet gum bottom with that cone sugar cone at the bottom or waffle cone whatever y'all want to call it and uh, yeah man definitely a crazy kick the quality on here is crazy but I'm not trying trying to turn this into a sneaker review I already reviewed these before and you could just come on my channel look them up or whatever and look up other people videos to see how these look I still got mine mine's not I don't think I wouldn't say mine's is completely DS but it's you know how some of them dudes like near 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 DS DS like very near DS that's how mine's is I and I've had my full-blown share of wearing these or whatever so but uh, from air and stuff, you know, probably a little bit of dust on here, a little bit of dirt, but not nothing that'll make you go like, uh, with the shoe. But yeah, man, me personally, those, and this is what I was talking about too, kicks that people not really too much wearing. Now, these were kind of hype when they came out, um, and they did sell out again, took a whole day to sell out. I remember when these released a few years ago, remember like yesterday, excuse me, um, but uh, yeah, man, so these sold out for a whole day or whatever. And uh, you just really don't see nobody wearing this stuff. So you probably can get them for less than 120 now, maybe. But 
again, though, I, I bought what I like, and I feel like that's a kick that definitely a turn heads. The whole presentation, everything, if you actually see it with the waffle cone paper, definitely nice, man. And this, it, it, that's the fun part of wearing kicks. You're not supposed to just wear stuff that come out like every week all the time or something like that. That's me, though, personally, though, man. It get kind of boring, like, just doing that. So I also want to, so since I dug in the archives with that, and so again, since I do these sneaker rotations to make sure I wear most of my kicks throughout the year, another one I've dug out was the Andre Agassi Air Tech Challenge. Uh, what's they calling this? The hybrid joint? But I, one of the main reasons why I like this is because it was a denim shoe. If they actually would have made this blue denim a little bit more acid wash, this would definitely be what's up. I feel like this kind of sneaker is more what's going on now with like people with the ripped jeans and stuff like that. And uh, these came out in like 2014, and these actually hit sale racks, man. I think I swooped these for like 60. I just kept stalking them, man, and, until I actually got them. They got a few more hot colorways, though. Uh, and, you know, definitely I like that other one, too, that black one and the white one. And you will see that's more of my sneaker rotations go on. I start showing more of them. Another one I got is like more of a one that's like more of a, like a lime green, but I might wear that soon. I usually crack that out when the weather gets a little bit better, but... You've got an ace right there. That, and that means something in tennis, but yeah. So yeah, definitely takes after the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2 with the hot lava. You could already see that jumping all in it. But yeah, this is not a sneaker review. But I end up wearing these Tuesday. And uh, yeah, man, crazy. I love them, man. Then you got that burgundy at the bottom. Crazy. See, you're not going to catch... I think because I think... At, the time when this came out, the only popular denim shoe was probably was probably that LeBron denim shoe. And I was going for quite a bit of change, but you know. It is what it is though. I, I, I this one right here with that light wash, this is something you could wear now, dude. Like this is so futuristic and throwback, but yeah. Wednesday, I end up rocking these joints right here. The forest green. Chuck Taylor's Converse All-Stars, man. Definitely something that never gets old. You can get them in any color, any, whether it be canvas or leather. This sh this sneaker never really, like, played out. People, grandparents, was probably, like, wearing these joints. You know what I mean? And I noticed the difference between the 70s one. It got a little bit more of a chunky uh, midsole. But go watch the review on these joints, too, man. All-Star. That's what I wore for Wednesday. Thursday, I end up rocking these joints right here. And uh, obviously, y'all know these the Shadow Tens. These just came out um, not too long ago and stuff. Definitely one of my uh, recent Jordans I've definitely been wearing a lot. I think I've been anticipating these. Not even I think. I've been anticipating these more than the Shadow Ones. I meant to say that on my review video. Uh, because the Shadow Ones just came out in like 2013. But these haven't like retroed in like, felt like a decade, man. So yeah, this is one of the ones I've been stalking for a long time. Go look at the review on this. Already does do a comparison and all that stuff to the cool gray one and uh, when these came out, how much I've been really wanting them. But yeah, so I ended up rocking these on Thursday. And everybody already did a review on them. So Friday, another one. I want to go back into the archives. This was more of a Saucony or Saucony week as we call it uh, with me. So this is my. I don't really too much have that many like Saucony shoes. I think just like. I only just got two pairs, really. And this is my second pair right here. This is just nothing special. It's just a regular GR. One of them little cheap ones you could find on clearance at the time for like 40, 50 bucks. And I'm like, man, this is a high shoe. So I ended up copping it. Um, one of the things that actually just attracted me to this was the whole colorway. Like this whole kind of uh, teal, bouncing off with like this yellow orange kind of like color and you got the little corduroy on the back but the boring thing about this was was the black laces that was in it it was black flat laces and i think that's what made it boring but with these with the proper uh the, with the proper shoe strings in here the two ones to me that these look better in them and uh and this this red definitely speaks volumes when you actually rock these man crazy so yeah man these the shoestrings just turn them up to me and it makes the shoe seem more important than it really is again a regular gr and i just did a video on stuff like this like a little 30 dollar 40 dollar 
$50 kick or whatever. I think after taxes, it was a little under 50 or 40, something like that. But again, a little kick, you know, some low budget kick that does a lot of popping. Now, I probably don't get a lot of compliments on it, but at the same time, I rock my shoes for me. And I just feel like this was just like a turned up shoe that just was kind of like really slept on really. It was just a nice little clean GR. And um, later on that day, I ended up rocking these uh, just for a little bit. I just wanted to bring these out, man. I just feel like I haven't wore these in a minute. And uh, I just had a craving for an Air Max 95. And this is the Solar Red joints. Man, they just been going online for like 128 free shipping. I've already bit the bullet and bought them like a, a month or two ago or whatever. So I did do a review on this one. Not too many reviews on YouTube for the 2018 version or all like that. Can't wait till they drop the neon ones. And uh, yeah, man, definitely a classic shoe. So next up, go look at that review too if you haven't seen it yet. Saturday, because I ended up wearing both of them, the Sockenese and the Air Max 95s of Worlds on Friday. But Saturday, I ended up rocking an Air Flight, Nike Air Flight 89s. Again, $30 kick from the Nike outlet. Free shipping, all that. I actually ordered these over the phone at the time. And man, crazy. Just something simple and quick and clean. This is not white. This is just a very light gray. Nike is calling this Zen Gray. And, uh, you know, when you, when you don't... This is completely me right here. You know what I mean? Like... You know, sometimes, you know, feeling fun and bright, you know, and with the pink. And then, you know, boom, just hit them with that serious black. You know what I mean? About to go do something, you know? So, yeah, definitely fly, definitely nice. And that cursive air flight on the top definitely remind me of, like, that whole era, that time and all that stuff, man. Because you see a lot of this stuff is similar to the Air Jordan 4. Got the air flight on the flip tongue, but people slept on these though, man. I I picked up on these like Nike just went a year when just dropping too many of these. That's another thing too. They had a great colorway, red and white colorway, white and blue. It was crazy. And last but not least, to not make this nigga rotation any more longer, just looking at my time up there, I end up rocking the on Sunday. I end up rocking the Jordan One Shadows, and uh, yeah. This one of them ones I'm definitely happy that's just just kind of like floating around um, that 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 purchasable mark right now. Uh, again, like a few other YouTubers saying, man, you better go cop them. They are not lying. You know, hype beast in the side. You know, with it being prices going from you know 170 to 200 roughly or something like that, which is still kind of crazy for a Jordan one, especially an OG one like this. 2013 version was definitely going for more, but you know, cop what you like, buy what you like. And this shoe should be available for people that actually like this shoe to cop. Um, but you know how this game go, man. In a few months, by the end of this month, by the end of the year, this might be up to like 250 almost probably might be touching, touching 300 You never know. So, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail. Peace.